Hi guys, it's Elaine here with Neon Owl, and we are here with Rico and Miela here on their first <laughs> Groove Cruise. Mm. How's it going? So much fun. I like want to come fun. on every ship at forever. Yeah. For the rest of the uh, <laughs> All right, GC team, you heard it here. So this is not your first cruise, but it's your first like performance cruise. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the vibe so far? Amazing. It's like everybody's having so much fun from the get-go. Like as, before we even left the port, everybody was already partying and not like the cruise we were on before, which is like a very chill vibe. This <laughs> it's like is a lot of older people. So turned shit. up and ready to go, and it's really awesome. I also feel like the just having the music blasting, like when we were getting coffee at like 9 o'clock, and there was just 9 o'clock? What time did I go to bed? Listen, it was a rough morning. I needed to get up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what time we all went to bed. <laughs> we, we, were watching, we were up at uh, Marcus Schultz, like, what time? I don't know, 1, and then like... We were just. I don't. We, we went till four. I was there. Minute. I didn't make it till the the very end, but yeah. I think we were there till <laughs> the end. But regardless, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I will <laughs> say like the energy is just contagious. Like everyone is just happy. Everyone's just dancing and like free spirited, and it's just really good vibes. Yeah. So, what's something you guys are extremely grateful for in this moment? You know, I would say getting back on the road and being able to play live and connect with fans and just connect with our music in a way that like we haven't been able to for a year and a half or two years and it feels so good it's been so inspiring and i think i'm speaking for you too it's, it's yeah. been such a great experience touring with like midas and mm -hmm. doing that and gaining his fans meeting them and yeah. making new friends yeah also like for me personally you know i love I'm a singer, so obviously I love performing live. He sings as well, but um, I am just music to me. The live performance part is the best part about it because you can write all these songs and make all this music in your house, and then getting to perform it on stage and seeing people's reactions and stuff—it's like the best feeling in the world. So mm -hmm. it's just really—we're so thankful that we got to tour this past year and just being here again. Like, so yeah. yeah. Well, I'm definitely excited to catch you guys and the entire like lineup that that whole stage, that whole night. Um, who are you guys most excited to see? Yeah, I'm really excited to see Trivecta. We've worked with him before, we made music with him, and we just met him for the first time after literally writing two songs that are definitely happening, and like literally like five songs. We've written so many together, we never met, and we've never seen him live. So. Until right. here? You Until just you know, met him? Okay. In person. Yeah. And, and you're gonna probably meet him yeah. later, right? Well, we were supposed to meet him yesterday, but I told you, only two of the seven <laughs> interviews. Everyone's always adjusting first day of yeah. cruise, and we're like, where's this person, where's this person, where's this person? So today, it'll be much smoother. Yeah. People have gotten cool. their bearings. They roamed around, so we'll meet with him later, um, Amity, Midas, so the whole crew. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. got to meet Amity. He's like really cool dude. And but yeah, for us, I think right. Do you want to see Sam set? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. And the thing is, it's so funny because you talk to these people, whether it's like on Twitter or email, and you can make music together, and then you never meet them, but you already feel like you've known like them you know forever. Them. Yeah. So we were like laughing. about Yeah, we that. jumped right in like with Sam yesterday. Yeah, we're like, like it I, doesn't even yeah. feel like we don't know each other. It's like, yeah. like, this is the first time I've ever seen your face. Yeah, yeah. We're just like, yeah. Ah. yeah. It's just like it's really fun. So. Yeah. So, um, you know, you said obviously it's like been the first time you guys get to kind of come out and start doing shows again. So during the pandemic, like how do you guys cope with everything just to keep spirits up? Mm. Mm. So that's hard because I, I feel, feel like, like we, we, struggled. we struggled with that, Honestly, <laughs> which I think a lot hard. of musicians probably yeah. did because it's hard. You're trapped in your house. We were trying to be safe. We were worried for a lot of people and our families. So we took it really seriously. So there was like a lot of loneliness. Luckily, we have each other, each other. <laughs> which is great and we have our dog and uh, yeah. we have honey honey yes, yes. yes. Yeah. she's the best so we have Listen, it yeah. she's our baby like, yes. she's... i got a cat during uh, cleo cleopatra oh, queen yeah. during the pandemic too so yeah. yeah so i mean we had each other and that but like it was kind of a hard time like we yeah. didn't write as much as we had all the time in the world and it was hard to write because you're not going anywhere you're not seeing anything you're not getting inspired but i think the things that we did do are like we joined a Twitch and we started streaming and mm -hmm. we made a new community there and like met a lot of people that like yeah we, we still talk with. to like a yeah. lot of them actually um yeah. so that was I think really helpful and just trying new things like 
random new cooking things. I'm like, we're making a lot of homemade pasta. Yeah, what are you guys, yeah, okay, pasta. Yeah, <laughs> what's, what's the dish? Like, what's the so, dish? So, yo, so we Do you make each person have a specialty or you cook together? We cook together, but oh, he's so the cute. chef in our family. Like, okay. he really is, <laughs> his whole family has restaurants and stuff, so they're, he's just like a naturally good cook. You could have oh, like thanks. three ingredients and he's like, whips up this, like, plate. My You're f- like, where'd you get yeah. this? Yeah, where'd you like get the truffles? Little, <laughs> little, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll, like, put, like, a leaf on top, so my sisters always call him Garnish. Like, oh, uh, Garnish, because he, like, makes everything so pretty. He's a really good cook. But anyway, we were trying all different shapes of pasta, so we were just... We were just, like, trying everything. Live trying streaming to make and being like, hey, guys, come cook with us. And we were That's just, so like, cool. trying to make different shapes of pasta. It was really good. Yeah. So, also, I will say during the pandemic, and I know a lot of people can relate to this, like, the pressure of being stuck inside you're like i have to be productive because i'm not working or well you know Mm -hmm. we work from home anyway so Mm -hmm. um you know you feel very pressured to be more productive but you're kind of like depressed because you're stuck inside and there's nothing to do and it's it was like kind of challenging to get out of our own way a little bit but i think we did Uh, yeah yeah, no we did we came out (laughs) of it stronger and now we're like ready to hit the ground running but yeah yeah. it it is that because it's kind of like oh well now i'm not torn so they make all this music or whatever it is. Yeah. Then you're like, but I'm so fatigued. Yeah. Well, I don't want to do anything. So, but, like, but I'm not like, here we are. Yeah. Um, so out of your Twitch community, what's been like a special moment for you guys since going on to stream, whether that's music or your cooking adventures? Um, so what's funny is I think it like didn't happen inside of Twitch, but we had gained people who I would call them like just top, the best fans now ever. Mm-hmm. And one of them came to our show in Philly and it's like this, somebody that we were talking to through Twitch. And I mean, like, you know how that is. Like for yeah, our part, we get to talk to them. We don't like, know what they yeah. look like. And you just, you just know their username. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Name, yeah. And sometimes you don't even know their real name. Yeah. And somebody came to one of our shows in Philly and I thought that was when we so like special. Him, we were like, was like, oh my God, like, yeah. this is so amazing. Yeah, so it's like this like digital community. Yeah. Then like you get the real part of it. And I thought that was what actually was really special. Like the actual human connection. Yeah. You know what's funny about our Twitch? This is like a little side note. Everyone's username, I would just make up like little songs. Like this one kid, his <laughs> name was like Lunatic Chardonnay, right? Yeah. But That's I, funny. I, and I used to be like Lunatic Chardonnay. And like every time someone would like, <laughs> log had a song on, for yeah. everybody. like Roy would be like, Roy. And then like, it's Guame. Like I would just make up all these names and like they would, they like loved that because it made them feel yeah. like I was paying attention to them. So, yeah. Which I genuinely actually care about them though. It's not like I'm. Yeah. That's amazing. And you're both like multi-talented. So how did that kind of come about? You guys kind of do it all. Um, You know, we're like, so I started playing piano really young. She started singing and playing guitar. And we just came from this, I think, from a different direction than a lot of other producers. Like we literally like have been musicians since we were children. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you keep going, you're, you're picking up things. Like I started singing in high school and that well, was we, like, we knew each other in high school, yeah. actually. Yeah, so yeah, I also want to know like the love yeah. story and <laughs> yeah. the situation I, and how it is working together <laughs> and not like killing each other. Yeah, so, so yeah, all that. <laughs> well, I was going to say like when you were in high school, like he was like the known musician. Like everyone was like, oh, Rico, oh, he all had, the like, girl, all the girls crushing on him? Guitar. <laughs> like, he was like, I, everyone was like, that kid's going places. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like you made a name for yourself. He was like making oh, CDs okay. You're making him blush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway. <laughs> like, <laughs> some CDs and yeah. mixtapes. But then, yeah, like the but then I was like, I'm a singer too. And then I was like, excuse me. <laughs> like singing like Jewel covers and like Alanis oh, Morissette. Gosh, yeah. Like that was like my whole vibe. But Yeah, and then, then it's like funny because we sort of both went to school in California. We're from New Jersey, and uh, we didn't see each other for years. But and we had just like ironically, some... we were there at the same time. Yeah. I was in LA for three years, and he was in San Diego for three years. Okay, yeah, like, okay, I could see. It in was San Diego. crazy though. <laughs> yeah. Like we never connected out there until we moved back home. Yeah, and I had then by that point to go back to your question before, like had started producing music. I had met like this is back now, and like we're gonna date ourselves here a little bit, but like 2010 ish time. So it's like. I started meeting all these Europeans who were at my college, and they're like, oh, you got to check out house music. I'm like, house music? What is this? Uh-huh. And I was like, I could do that. Yeah. And then I like went home, and I'm like, okay, so taking all this like piano and all this stuff and start throwing it on the computer and seeing what's happening. And then I had reached out to her, because, or I you reached out to me. I asked you, I said, hey, I just moved home from LA. I'm looking for a band. Like, here's my my latest DP that I just made in school. Like, I was like, so confident. <laughs> yeah, so and, proud. And I reached out to him, and he was like, actually, I do like house music now. Like, you should sing on one of my songs. And yeah. then 
literally it just and then it just kind of yeah it just happened and it happened yeah. so quickly because I had at that point been trying to do it for like a year or two maybe with like little degrees of success and then as soon as we started like writing together it was like maybe by like the fourth song but like we had mm -hmm. signed something to revealed mm -hmm. yeah. and it just was like from there it was like boom 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 yeah and revealed it just armada so yeah, yeah, yeah. protocol yeah i've i've been listening to you guys for like a little bit no, oh nice. yeah, thank you yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's so funny i never ever in my life thought i would end up in this genre which is so crazy yeah because i i love it and it's i feel like i'm if I were pursuing a different genre, I wouldn't be. I mean, obviously, I always tell him, I'm like, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. Mm -hmm. But so he, you know, knew how to like, t basically was like, oh, try singing this way. Try like putting your register here. And then all of a sudden, like, I kind of found my sound and I had a little spot in the EDM industry. Right? Yeah, because I think we both came from like, we used to listen to punk or like indie, <laughs> yeah. and like we came from that, which I think actually a lot of people yeah, yeah. in the scene are. Yeah. So it's like, you know, Growing up, I was like, I'm going to be on stage playing guitar and singing and doing that. And then something, yeah, it switched for me, and I think it switched for you, too. Right. And it just, like, worked out. I, I think it's a, we're a really good balance. What she brings, like, singing and producing and writing, the way we mm -hmm. work together has been, mm -hmm. it's been awesome. <laughs> yeah. And how is that, like, working together, like, living together, like, that whole <laughs> dynamic? Is there, like... It, there's definitely... It's great. <laughs> He's it's like, you better, say the, you better say the right like, thing. Watch, you're, just, <laughs> you're on camera. You're on I'll camera. be on out GCTV. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's great. It's awesome. And it, I think, like, we, there's things that make it easier and better for us that other people don't have. Like, mm -hmm. we connect in so many ways and we know where each other are at emotionally and personally. And I think that makes things easier. And then, just like anybody would expect, it's like, you know, of course, there's days where we're like, <laughs> I hate you. He's like, like he's like producing, and I like creak the door open. He's like, "Can you shut the door?" I'm like, oh, "I'm sorry." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. you know? But I think it like I'm it's like, a, "Do you want to hang out?" He's like, "I'm busy." I was like, "Oh, okay." Sorry. Like, it's a great balance, though. Yeah. You know, it's a really, really yeah. good balance, and I think that it just we've made it work for us, and I think it just gets easier, right? Yeah. When you say and I will say, like, we actually one of our best friends, Meg Cannon, like she is also a musician, and once we met her, we like started writing music together, and then that has also helped bringing in other songwriters because sometimes you do need to just mm -hmm. expand your circle a little bit to yeah, because we getting for so many years just like wrote every single song all by ourselves and. A lot of times, like she'll start a song or I'll start a song, right? And then when you're producing them, it's a lot because a lot of other producers aren't in that boat where they're also writing the songs. So then it's been nice. We've been doing co-writing with like friends lately mm -hmm. and bringing in new ideas to our yeah. songs because it like it gets stale always being just yourself as a songwriter. So yeah, but yeah. And then also nice. like obviously like our personal lives and work life and love life, like everything is intertwined. And people are like, how you guys are always together, mm -hmm. but we don't really get sick of each other well no yeah I, that's good and she's like well i don't at least <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i was saying no, like, yeah i think it just shows that we have like yeah. a strong relationship because like we do work together we have a personal relationship and it's just they it's always yeah good like you know what yeah. i mean like of course like any relationship there's good and bad that comes with that but like right. for us it's been positive i think through the time yeah and I also think a lot of people like we've met other producers and they say you guys are so lucky to have each other because it gets so lonely mm. and like if you can't share that with somebody and like people don't really get it like when you're trying to be a musician in general you know what I mean like so we've always had the support for each other and we've shared the same dream and we you know mm -hmm. it's just it's a good it's a good that's so beautiful <laughs> Um, of, you know, the years that you guys have been in the business, what would you say has been a really big highlight or mm. what you would consider a really successful, like, I, experience? I think, so, in the past, I guess it's been since 2020 we have new managers and they've just been doing, like, an amazing job for us and I think the trajectory we've been on has put us probably in our best year. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. we, we've been on tour with um, Midas and that tour is amazing, like, when we played at uh, Minneapolis, like it was like one of the best experiences of my life. Like huge room, amazing crowds, and like all the songs that we've gotten signed in the past year have just yeah. this year. I would say is probably my favorite year that we've yeah. Had just musically. I think touring in general just makes it feel like you know we're like we're mm -hmm. doing something. But I will say like the first time that we performed as 
Rico and Miela, we were on stage with Nikki Romero at the protocol party. And, like, <laughs> Morbo was there, which I love them. And, like, so many other that was very cool. huge <laughs> artists. And, like, I was like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. I'm literally backstage, like, standing here with all of these really, really yeah. famous musicians and DJs and yeah. it was crazy that was a, that was a very cool year too <laughs> yeah <laughs> our song the song ghost I don't know if you heard that one but um that song like mm. it was what number three two yeah. or three on beat four when that mattered yeah. <laughs> yeah and that was that a big was a deal big. for yeah. us we were and like, we were like oh my god like this is so cool and then we got asked to play that we went on stage with him and like that was such a cool yeah. like, yes. experience yes. people were like wow oh my gosh yeah yeah um, yeah but, nostalgic for sure yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> what would be you guys' definition of success? Because obviously you guys have been at it for a while. There's a lot of aspiring artists out there watching as well. Mm -hmm. So what's your definition of success? For me, I think it would just be like being able to do this and only this um, and just enjoying it and not questioning where the next step is. Like I want to do that and that feels like success to me. Being in this and just saying like, hey, like, I'm literally loving every show we're playing. I'm happy with all of my releases and like not having to be like, well, I want to get to this next mm -hmm. point. It's not that I don't want to have that drive and push, but that to me is like, it's like a mindset almost. And that would be success mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. That's I, a good reminder. <laughs> yeah. Easier said than, Easier than, said than, than, than practice sometimes. But yes. yes. I just, like he said, like full, I would love to just, just do this <laughs> full time. Having a living, like making a living off of music is something that I've always really wanted and I think that if we can just do this forever mm -hmm. and have a longevity because a lot of people like they peak and then then you're like mm -hmm. where did they go mm -hmm. so the fact that like we're still doing this like almost we've been working together for over 10 years now yeah. you know what I mean it's crazy. and we're still <laughs> doing it and, <laughs> you know like yeah. things are go up and then they come down and then they go up and it's so I think being able to stick in it for like the long run is a success mm -hmm. yeah if that I makes that. sense yeah so outside of music and cooking, what are some of your other hobbies? Um, photography for me. He's a really good photographer. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks. Yeah, so that's definitely probably like... A All of our like of nice photos that we have on Instagram are <laughs> literally his. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's we it's like good, sit up yeah. a tripod sometimes yeah. and we're like posing. <laughs> like, people are like walking by, but you're really good at that. Oh, thanks. He's that. good at like everything. Oh, thank you. Our dog too. Like I love dogs. I was going to say, I literally Obviously. love like bringing... Our dog to the dog beach, it's like such a peaceful, like when the sun's going down, all the dogs are just running free and it's like our little space. Yeah. But, yeah. um, yeah. I, what do, I, what do I like to do? I really <laughs> like hair and makeup. I like to do that. I don't, I like that. You I don't like, do that. So I, I love like, that you got the kind of like vibey thing going on. You got the glitter. <laughs> well, like, I had to. It's group. Yeah. yeah. So it's good. So I, I'm into it. I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we do a lot of stuff. I've, we're like... The, one of those people that like we do everything, you know what I mean? Just what else do I do really? No, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's enough. You don't even. Now yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm like, what know, do I, I mean, do? When you ask me, I'm like, I don't know. I like to go to raves and work. I don't, yeah. I don't know. It's all the same. Like, riding, riding bikes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Oh, yeah, I love riding bikes. That's fine. We we're like we live right by the beach. Mm -hmm. So I mean, right now it's cold. Yeah. As you it's know, very, being on the east coast, cold. it's freezing. But yeah, I we love to do like outdoorsy stuff. Yep. So. Cool. Well, on the theme of Groove Crew, since this is where we're at, we're at right now, if you, okay, I guess you, this question doesn't work as much because I've been asking, if you could only bring one person to a stranded island, who would you bring? <laughs> but I'll ask it anyway. <laughs> Let's not be awkward now. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> we would bring honey. Yeah, she's like, don't, she's like, don't say our dog. We bring our dog. dog. Our animal, like, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, literally, don't funny. say our dog. Okay, <laughs> well, okay. I, mean, I mean, I don't think I have to even yeah. answer. Yeah, You're I right, guess you guys but... can also bring honey. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah that's it. Like... Probably like, collectively, then that would be our answer. It's yeah. Like, yeah, we'll bring her. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, so if you were the captain of the ship, which mm -hmm. we all are, but you were steering the ship, where would we sail to right now if it only took the next 24 hours to get there? Mm -hmm. Oh, so, I don't know oh, why it could I be whispered. anywhere. It could be I go, anywhere. It could be like. Right. There you go. Well, so, you guys all have to be like that. in alignment. Like, you yeah. guys. We're like, yeah. no, no, we need to talk. We're, we're like, what should we say? I'm right. curious. How well do you know each so other? So, you're saying, you're saying Italy? I've never been to Europe, so oh, I am dying to, to go there. there. And I think I want to go to Japan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we had another Japan answer yesterday. Who was it? Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Fadam. Yeah, 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 oh, cool. yeah. So, Japan as well. Yeah. Which is amazing. I would love to go there too. Okay. 
Stranded Island, mm-hmm. aside from each other, and aside from honey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so funny that. What three talking. items would you bring? Mm-hmm. I guess six items. So you guys can uh, since you're two people. Okay. He- headphones and some music for sure. Okay. That's one. That's one? Yeah. All right. No, so that's two. Yeah, that's two. But, that's two. Okay. but yeah, well, like, you got you to gotta play the music between the, between okay. the two of you. Definitely a guitar and a piano. Oh, right? gosh. Need, <laughs> okay. Okay. That. No, great. So I'm, I'm seeing the music thing here. Yeah. Let's see about the survival. So, okay. Oh, oh, oh got it. Oh, yeah, we got to get supposed to survive. There's definitely two musicians. Uh, <laughs> can we say, like, a food that we can't, like, live without? Sure. Pizza. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're agreed. like huge pizza people. And then it's we so should bad. have like, like a burrito kind of station. <laughs> a burrito station? Is that Okay, good? <laughs> wonderful. So they'll have their music and they'll have their pizza and burrito. So. Yes. <laughs> then I think we're like pretty much set. What else do we really need? I, I would, I like a journal. I love journals. Okay. Okay, I'll give you a pizza and burrito station as one and then we'll give you a journal yeah. oh, okay. and pen. Okay. So, Do we need yeah. more? Uh, no. I mean, <laughs> how, how far does this go? I mean, I, I think that's good. I mean, I, I don't that's good. I think that's we'll good. almost survive at that point. Yeah. Yeah, Nala told us yesterday, I'll bring my tour manager and she'll handle everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> take care of me, that's please. That's perfect. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, cool. So, in this moment, what can we expect from the two of you, 2022 and beyond? Okay. Mm. So, we've been writing a ton of music right now. And I think it's like been really inspired by playing live. So a lot more uh, heavy music, but in like a melodic sense. Okay, I was like, how heavy? There's a couple. There's a couple bangers. Okay. There's a couple bangers. Okay, we're like railing status. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. There's a couple of those, and just so many new songs. Like we have so much stuff. Like we have this folder that we share with our managers and it's like our goal for this year is to like put a new song in there every single week. Oh, so wow. that's We've been doing good. We've been doing too. really good. That's insane. So, we've been having like songwriting nights like every week with our friends that come over, we write and songs and just I'm in the studio every day. Yeah. We have so many like a back catalog of songs that we've just been like turning into records and so that writing new things like I think you can expect a lot of new music from us and we're hoping to maybe do some kind of project like an EP before the end of the year. That would ultimately be our goal. Right. So. And to tour more as yeah. much as possible. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, at Neon Now, we're all about giving back, supporting different causes, different charities. Is there something that's close to your, your hearts, either one of you? Mm. Mm. I think like, uh, I forget what the name of it is. I think it's called Doctors Without, Without Borders. Borders. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think what they're doing is yes. awesome. Um, so something like that I think is great. Just There's just so many people who are whether living in poverty or just can't afford that, there's not mm-hmm. the medicine there, like I think that's just a great cause. Yeah, yeah, I agree. My family is actually, my cousins and my uncle and my aunt, they're really involved with Operation Smile, have you ever heard of that? A little bit, but I don't <clears> know too much about that. With like, with the, they were born with like cleft palates and stuff, mm-hmm. and they mm-hmm. go to different countries and help give the mm-hmm. surgeries, and that's amazing. yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, we're so much more fortunate here, like, and yeah. here on Groove Cruise, and you know, Jason and the team, they, they have Wet Foundation as well, so, Sometimes when we go to like, which we'll see you back at future cruises, we'll go to like Tabo, we'll go to the orphanage, right? Because we see what we see. We're here on a cruise. Right. We're here at the beach. We're here at a resort or whatever. But there's a lot that's around us that we don't mm-hmm. see and the less fortunate. So really happy to be a part of Groove Cruise and just helping Wet Foundation as well and yeah. doing all that. So next time you guys come to the Cabo one or oh, wherever we're, we're down you're definitely i'll definitely <laughs> invite you to that volunteer portion yes, of it yeah you gotta wake up early though yeah. but Deal. since you were up at nine already he was up before me bad. oh goodness yeah. i was like i feel it usually obligated. goes from like eight to like 12 or something yeah, okay, I, think yeah. We could, I think we can do yeah, that yeah. we're weirdly waking up yeah early, yeah but, like, <laughs> i actually volunteered at um an orphanage in guatemala one time and that oh. was such a special experience and it just like even drinking water you're just like wow mm-hmm. i never have to think about the water that i'm drinking and they yeah. had all these jugs and it was like the little kids didn't have diapers. It was so sad. Yeah. So we're extremely fortunate. There's people that may never get the chance to even go on a cruise. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So we're really lucky. Yeah. I know. I agree. Awesome. Well, last thing is one word you would use to describe the other person. Oh, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Talented. Thank you. I would say caring. Aww. Thank you. Awesome. What is going on? We have no idea. (laughs) All right. Well, thank you so much. We can't wait to catch you play. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to Neon Owl and GCTV, and we will see you very soon. Thank you for having us. Thank you us. for having us.